Babangida says Atiku is the LDS presidential candidate. Buari Tinubu and Shetima's wives receive appointment letters. Debt servicing on Nigeria's Eurobond rises by 86%. Ronaldo could end last dance at Man United by January. Babangida says Atiku is the LDS presidential candidate. Former Governor of Niger State, Babangida Aliyu, has taken his step as the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bolame Tinubu, following his fitness video. Recently, Tinubu's absence from the Peace Park generated controversy on social media as many speculated the presidential candidate is not healthy. To debunk the claim about his health, Tinubu on Sunday, October 2, 2022, posted a video of himself riding his spinning bike. But Ali, while speaking in Abe Okota, the Ogun State Capital, during the declaration of support for Atiko, aimed a dig at Chinubu saying if there is health, there is no need to show proof of life and that Atiko is the healthiest of the presidential candidates in this country and the only one that can restructure Nigeria. Babangida specifically said that it is only Atiko presidency that can restructure Nigeria. There must be a state police so as to ensure security in the local areas. Only Atiko Abubakar presidency can do that. There is extreme poverty in the land, therefore members of the People's Democratic Party and fellow Nigerians on the day in February should elect Atiku Abubaka because the development of any nation depends on the education of that country. According to Babangida, voting for Atiku is saving, rescuing and developing Nigeria. Buhari Tinubu and Shetima's wives receive appointment letters. First Lady Aisha Buhari, wife of the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Senator Olure Mitinubu, and the wife of the vice presidential candidate Nana Shetima were on Monday giving the appointment letters to lead the party's women campaign train. While the letter of the first lady and the spouses of both the presidential candidates and his running mates were delivered to them privately, many others were at the campaign office in Abuja to pick them up. Debt servicing on Nigeria's zero bond rises by 86%. The amount spent by Nigerians servicing euro bond and diaspora bonds has risen by 85.67% between the first and second quarter of 2022. An analysis of an actual external debt service payment from the Debt Management Office showed that Nigeria spent a total of $246.16 million on servicing its foreign bonds in the first quarter of 2022. By the second quarter of the year, the total debt service cost on these loans rose to $457.01 million. Ronaldo could end last dance at Man United by January. It appears that the Portuguese will leave the Red Devils when the transfer windows opens in January as Manchester United is ready to sanction the move. This came after the 37-year-old superstar was snubbed in the embarrassing defeat to Manchester City on Sunday by manager Eric Ten Hag. Ronaldo could barely watch from the bench as their neighbors humiliated the Red Devils 6-3 at the Etihad. United manager Ten Hag, who stopped Ronaldo from leaving the club in the summer, explained after the game that he left out the football legend from the game against Man City out of respect. However, following backlash from notable United legends and pundits after the derby, the Dutchman and the club seemed ready to finally let the player leave the club. Just two months after the club insisted that the player isn't available for a move away from the club, United has agreed to sanction Ronaldo's departure. That is all we have on our headlines today at Wisdom Jad Online TV. I am Odeli Kimofi. Follow us.